Many thanks to Linda Cullen for the last hour here in Classic Tracks 96.7. And for the next hour, you can listen to me, Declan McGrath. Same channel. And tonight, we're joined by the Blur Mains, a Belfast group who'll be playing live in the studio. This is one called Perspectives. <laughs> in the studio from Belfast that's the Blur Means tell us about the Blur Means when do you actually start lads? well <coughs> present line up we're going to go for about a year now. year and a half a year and a half ok a year and a half yeah. Better first game right you're, you're breaking up already like arguments it's big <laughs> split in the radio <laughs> so artistic differences so what, what got you all together? well Stephen and Hugh been playing together for about uh, maybe four or five years and then I came along and we had a sort of seen out of most things and stuck at it and then Norman came along and that's right. it. Really. So what, what, what are the Blur Means all about? What are you trying to do? Change the world, play good music, get kids <coughs> no, dancing? No, there's no big mad philosophy. We're sick of things like that and sick of people going on about what they want to do and direction and all that abstract crap. It doesn't mean anything to us. We just, we just play. So how, how would you describe the stuff you play? We're going to hear some of it later anyway, but... 
Yeah. Well, I know, I know nobody likes to play the <laughs> and stuff, but it's it's guitar-y, it's... Mm. There. It's out there. Yeah. And you've, you've played before, you've played in there? Well, I've played the Lane a few times, uh, the Oracle, Dunbar, I've played all around Belfast, really most of the good places to play. Mm. Now we're sort of branching out, playing London, Zary Andron, trying to get a bit of... A couple of gigs behind us out there, you know, around the country. Mm. Oh, when, did, when did you last play live? Uh, when was it? Dunbar, uh, was it? Dunbar, February, was it? February, was it? Uh, was it February, yeah. Don't play that often. Right, have you any particular places you like to play? Any favourite venues? Well, well, like Square Garden. Do you gather in a crowd around you? Or? Well, it's hard to say, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you get a, a really good crowd, sometimes. It depends on the night, really. We well, haven't got bottled off yet. No, whenever we've, right. we've played, like a really good reception, you know, it's pretty good that way. And what's going to, what's going to happen after the, this series of gigs? You get four or five gigs around a lot of places. I mean, so, somebody wants to get a, a hold of some Blur Means music apart from going to uh, see his live. Is there any albums or? Well, we're on the, <laughs> the nine CD. Right. Oh, uh -huh. Eight other bands, of course. But we had an EP, a cassette EP, about September there. Right. right. The, the nine CDs were about nine local bands got together and put out a CD. So obviously, it was a bit of hustle for you recording the tracks and a bit of money. Like, has it been worth it? We've got a good write up. Like, we've got a few good write ups. Yeah, we've got a, got a write up in the Melody Maker, which was favourable. Yeah. Right. You never know who's listening to it and who's got a copy. Right, so you're, you're glad you did that? Right, well, right. That's definitely a good move. Right. Just one question I'm interested in. I see your EP, like, and you've got a naked woman in the front. Like, is this the same of things to come? There you are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to rephrase it? It's sexist, then. <laughs> well, I do. You've, you've put it in the front of your EP, like. Yeah. Well, it's less said about that, isn't it? No, no. <laughs> What's well, on the well, posters as well? About it? Do you want to talk about naked women? Uh, well, well, I'm looking forward to seeing the video, then. <laughs> if it continues in the same thing. Bare bellies, that's all. <laughs> right. So we'll, we'll soon hear you live, anyway, in a minute. First of all, this is a track from... Uh, and many thanks again to Johnny, Norman, Hugh and Stevie. That's the Blur Means, and you heard them live in the studio. And if you want to hear more of the Blur Means live, they'll be coming near you in the, the uh, first half of May. The fans, and I've got a cracking track from them coming up later on. Anyway, continue. The Blur Means are in the Rosetta on Friday night. And here's their new demo. Perspectives. Hmm, now that's one band who could release a cracking album, Blur Mains, and uh, one of the songs off the new demo, that track's called Perspectives, and they'll be featuring more of that on the Friday night show, and indeed next Monday. Don't forget they're in the Rosetta in Belfast this Friday. Another gig I missed. The gig spies in tonight, after tearing strips off Roosevelt's farm and praising dust to the high heavens, he's in tonight. So what have you got tonight for us, Mr. Gig Spy? I've got McBride's made Dinger, and I've got the Blur Mains. Mm. And first off, I'll start with McBride's mate Dinger. Absolutely funny. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny being kind. It's funny yeah, euphemism for. Well, I must say, fair play to him for getting up on the stage and having a go. But I'm sure, in maybe five years from now, when they've got it together and can write a few songs and play them, that they'll be worth listening to. Maybe buying a record if they ever get one out. But at the minute, I think the bass player. He just looks like one of those Sabudio players come to life <laughs> for the occasion. He's a, he's a big guy. I wouldn't let him know who you are if I was you. <laughs> I think it's just a case of maybe they're, they're, they're still young yet. I mean, Absolutely. I haven't been playing that long. Absolutely, but I think they're still searching the north of England somewhere for direction and inspiration. Yeah, right. Uh, onto the Blair Mains. Absolutely brilliant. I was very sure. impressed by them. Played a very tight together show. I liked the music. Very hard-edged. It reminded me of the energy of some of the punk bands about 10, 12 years ago, I think. Not necessarily the same kind of music, but... Absolutely not, but it was like stiff little fingers meet Sly and the Family Stone. Still a very much a street groove, very impressive. We really liked the, their cover at the end of the night, the way they applied the Rolling Stones' sympathy for the devil to their own sound. Um, as opposed to just getting yeah. up there and playing a cover. Now, you've given these two bands um, totally opposing reviews. How did the crowd treat the two bands? Well, the crowd weren't into the first band at all, where everybody stood around the dance floor, but then when the Blur Mains come on, stormed into their set with CC, CC Rider, and the dance floor packed, and it was there, I mean, the crowd were there right to the end, right now, the last God Keen, another track, which was really good, I really enjoyed that. The other one, Crazy Notion, I really get into that track. It was about the third song, and the Sympathy for the Devil really finished it off, and then the encore, 
I really like that. So the blur means the minute doing all the right things, yeah? Yeah, I think it's really good. I think it's something that people in Belfast should get behind and help them, push them along. Obviously, if they had a record out, it would, it would be doing pretty well. Maybe in, in respect of their sound, they might need to uh, progress it and look into another area. I think they would be compared to some of the things that are already out there. Unfortunately for them, because I know that they have been doing what they're doing for a long time, and if they had a, had, had that chance, perhaps they would have been in there and I with everybody else. But, I mean, fair play to them, they're a good group, and if they can keep that raw edge, definitely it's something worth developing. Good, so the message for McBride's Mead Dinger and Blair Means, keep plugging away. McBride's Mead Dinger, need to do a wee bit more homework, and, uh, yeah, but uh, Blair Means, nice one. Right, Mr. Geeks, bye, whose name I don't know. Thanks for dropping in tonight. Uh, just to remind you, the Blur Mains have actually hot-footed it into the studio, and um, we'll be playing their new demo for you in a few minutes. Right in the studio, we got that, the Blur Mains. Um, good evening, boys. Good evening. Uh, you're, you're very shy. You know, you're like we're doing an interview. Um, let me see, Blur Mains, we know you for your last demo, Onassis. Um, Onassis was big, sort of dance floor-wise. Um, are, are you primarily a dance band? No, definitely not. No way. But you can, you can dance to it just... Well, you can dance that. It's just a took off on uh, when you played it yourself, and I took off sort of on dance floor thing, and I just sort of got it all out of proportion. But people saying we're a Manchester side and stuff like that, which just wasn't on at all. Because certainly live, you've got more power than that. Yeah, yeah we've got more of a sort of, I don't know, maybe that's a dodgy to say, rock feel. Rock and roll with the groove. <laughs> oh, rock and roll with it, with a street oh, groove. Is that what yeah, you said? Groove, <laughs> yeah. The gig spy said that, yeah. But uh, certainly not strictly just a dance band, though. No. Did you, uh, the Onassis thing, because it was popular, even on the radio, uh, it did well in our top ten of last year. Did you, uh, did you sell it? Well, we recorded originally for uh, someone who was going to do a radio interview for us. We had an older demo tape, we didn't want to give him that. And so we said we'll record something new for him. And we initially done up, like, about ten copies of it. And then when it started getting our play, there was a bit of demand for it. We sold about 300. You're a liar! <laughs> 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 oh, that was, you sold heaps of it anyway, yeah? You sold a lot. Stacks. <laughs> um, the new track, is it, uh, well, that Onassis, uh, that old favourite, is, is it on the new EP? Thing it is, uh, we've done this EP on, uh, the three tracks that you hear on the A-side, or the three tracks you also hear on the B-side, <laughs> rather than hear, hear any blank space or anything like oh, that. Oh, so we just... We thought it was a good idea. So turn We're that not tape exactly over. what you call prolific songwriters, but, you know, what, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll turn out as good, so... Quality rather than quantity, you know? Mm -hmm. That's our thing. Yeah. Oh, have you got a press officer? <laughs> um, the quality of Onassis was great. Where did you record it, uh, this one? The same place? The same place. Gary Aiken, Novatak, Green Island. We are just out of there tonight with this other one. He did a good job on it with that, you know. Okay. Right, so we'll have a wee blast of this. This is called The Last God King. Mm. Now we're talking. We'll see what that means, eh? <laughs> Nice one, the Blur Mains and the Last God King. I got the guys in the studio. We'll have another word with them after this break. Yeah, that's the message. Uh, Blur Mains are still here. Uh, I played your track. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's a bit in the um, God. Uh, the Onassis uh, mold. But you're saying it's not dancey. It's dancey. Oh, it's dancey. dancey. Yeah, yeah, you're a dance bad. No, it's got a, it has a good groove behind it. That's the main thing. Yeah. Um, the people, uh, how many people are you getting at your gigs? I mean, I know this. It sounds stupid me asking you, but um, people out there don't know. Well, we played Limelight for two weeks ago. Well, it was pretty packed out. Whether we pulled the crowd or not, I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't you. It was probably the guy doing the disco. That <laughs> <laughs> probably was a good little fall. <laughs> so, um, what's the plans for here? Are you going to gig? Well, I mean, to promote this new cassette thing? I well, we're looking to gig maybe Jordanstown within the coming month. People will look out for that. And probably Dublin. Yeah. Within the next, before June anyway, we're hitting Dublin. We've been offered a, a session down there with Capital Radio. And they're going to play us the night that we will play somewhere. Good stuff. If we can get somewhere lined up. Great. It's the Blur Mains EP. Has it got a name? I'm just going by The Last God King. Yeah. No, it's just Blur Mains EP. Can people buy this in the shops then? Or are you going to just sell them at gigs? No, uh, you can get it in making Tracks, Castle Arcade. It's 250 Yeah. It's a wee bit porno at the front. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. Right. So, the Blur Mains, um, any chance you making this on the vinyl? Or you just haven't got the money to put it out? Oh, I haven't got the dough to put it on the vinyl, but... We're going to actually do it on Good Vibes, where we're talking sort of about doing something on Good Vibes, but we thought we'd just put this one out in our own. See how it goes, yeah. See how it goes, and maybe, you know, don't know what happens. Well, Blair Mains, best of luck. 
Okay, I'm going to say it's about right. That was a blur, man. Uh, nice of the guys to drop in. They actually just came straight here from the studio. And um, it's probably pretty hectic. I know what it's like. I was in the studio all day myself, you know, trying to recall it. Um, uh, back to the local front. Uh, we've got the blur, man. And this is called The Last God King. Nice one, the Blur Mains. Played that last week as well. That's good. I should see the boys having another wee dance hit on their hands. And that's called The Last God King. Uh, we got Reagan right, continuing with the local stuff. I like this. The Blur Mains. Played it last week. Got to play it this week again because it's in the Indy 10. I'll tell you what it will do is play one from the Blur Mains Belfast outfit. And uh, doing their first gig in the limelight in uh, a couple of weeks. Okay? 20th of June to be exact. They're playing with Leslie Rich and Firehouse. Sounds good enough. Right, that's this gigantic world. Sounds good enough. Even though it did sound a bit like the Blur Mains track Onassis, isn't that right? Mm. Anyway.